Minister Service Cloud, after completing this unit, you will be able to summarize the key benefits of Service Cloud, find the Service Setup page, describe the setup process for Service Cloud. Setup Service Cloud Salesforce administration is part of Maria's job. In between random IT SaaS for all of your the Maria Solas employees, she helps out the sales team with their basic Salesforce needs. But Maria is not familiar with service clouds and because there is so much budget for a formal training, she's worried it will be hard to set up. Service setup is where you connect your customers to your service center. Think of it as a dashboard for all things service. Whether you need to turn emails into cases, integrate with Twitter and Facebook, enable a knowledge base or create a web community, you do it all in service setup. Once you've configured channels for your customers, you can go to the service setup homepage to see metrics about how your channels are doing. Analyze service center spikes, view up to the minute case load stats. Let's check out service setup. So here we can see it, email setup, add users, today's performance and the settings here. Got it set up, follow a simple prompts and your email and social channels are up and running, ready to turn customers issues into cases. So that would be one. Service metrics, glance at dashboards to monitor your service performance and check on the health of your team and overall customer satisfaction. That would be number two and recommended setup. Discover simple steps to set up key features, learn more about service cloud and get plugged into the Salesforce community. That would be number three. Setup tree. Explore branches of the setup tree and check out all the features at your disposal. Not all service cloud related setup nodes are exposed in the service setup tree. Only the essentials, so click around to get to where you want to go. Maria likes what she is, but she wants to know how exactly to get to service setup. How to get to service setup? Getting to Lightning service setup is super simple. Just click the gear icon and select service setup. So let's just go there. Setups. There we have service setup. Next thing you know, you are there. Service setup home. If you want to go beyond what's in service setup, you do things like change the appearance of the console, add your company's brand to it, that's simple too, but it requires a few more clicks. To dig deeper into the service app details, click the setup gear icon and select service setup. Enter app manager in the quick find box and click app manager. Let's see here, service cloud basics. Connect your support email. To, to turn emails into cases, knowledge setup, so you can do pretty much everything here, process automation, loads of different things. So, but let's go to the app manager here to follow along there. Lightning Experience App Manager. So we have lots of stuff there. Click the drop down arrow next to your service console and app and click edit. Service console. Edit. You are now on the app settings page. Here you can do things like change the app's colors and upload a branded image. You can also access other setup features at the left of the screen. From here you can do things such as add or remove productivity tools from the utility bar. When you are finished, click save. CMS home. 
let's put it there. CMS experiences. Lots of different stuff. Let's save this so we can have a look. Should be a navigation item now. sure why it's not there but let's add the CMS on there and save it. You know on the app settings page here you can do things like change the app color, upload a branded image, I think we just went through that. That's it, but Miria wants more than a tool, likely any, like any good admin, she wants a better understanding of the whole setup. Before she recommends Service Cloud to the CEO and CEO of USA Mayo Solar. General setup process, it doesn't matter if your org service is Sundays or solar panels. The general setup process for Service Cloud is the same, here's a high level view of the processes. Automate case management, first wrote customer questions, comments and feedback to the right people and places with as little work as possible, analyze service metrics to spot trends and make better choices about service. So that would be case management optimization would be here somewhere. Process optimization, case assignment rules, all the kind of stuff, process builder, whatever. Lots of different choices. Add multiple channels. Once your case management system is in place, engage with customers on their favorite communication tools such as phones, emails, websites, social media, and more. Sync all your channels to a console so that your team can respond to customers anywhere. Capture knowledge as customer engagement provides your team with insights, store all useful information in an easy to search knowledge base, so the helpful articles are just a click away for support agents and customers. Expand efficiencies with AI, finally include artificial intelligence and bots to streamline more tasks and predict service before it's needed. Think of the setup process as circles and service expansion. Case management is a core, then expand the core with channels, knowledge, AI and bots. Based on what Maria has seen of the service setup, she understands that she can expand and customize service from one simple location. By relying on Salesforce documentation, Trailhead and the Socast community, she is confident that she can set up service cloud for USA Mayor Solar. Maria gives a thumbs up to Sita and Roberto. Beginning with this module, we watch here some Sala move through the circles of service expansion. We watch them learn about service, ask questions, evaluate their options and set up service cloud to match their business needs. By joining your Samaya Solar on their service journey, you can better understand yours. In the next unit, we will start with case management. So let's go through the quiz here. What are the two key benefits of Lightning Service Setup? Prompt and social media flows, recommendations and flows, email metrics and home tabs, service metrics and setup flows. So 
go there to the home. It's in social media flows. Service metrics and setup flows, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let's go to the next one to get the lighting service set up. Click the setup icon. Click the gear icon, then select service setup. Yeah, let's run. The second stage in the setup process for service. That was not. What was supposed to happen? I'm not sure, really sure what happened here. Why do I run back? Second stage in the setup process for Service Cloud is to add all case management features. Add channel so that your team can respond to customers, set up queues, escalation rules, and auto response rules, set up a knowledge base or artificial intelligence features. Channels. And we got 100 points, let's go to the next unit.